Yes, we are in drop D. So if you're not in drop D right now, you're gonna wanna tune down to play along with some of the cool chords I'm about to show you in this lesson on drop D chords. So obviously there's only one string that's different in this tuning, but that one string, the thick E string tuned down to D, can really change up a lot of different chords and give you access to some really cool sounds. So I'm going to just jump right in and show you three really awesome drop D chord shapes and how I like to use them in my own guitar playing. So I'm gonna show you these chords with a clean tone and then I'm gonna throw on a distorted tone just because I like to uh, turn up the gain when I'm in drop D, as I'm sure you do as well. Of course, if you're using an acoustic guitar, you may not have a gain pedal, or maybe you do. But either way, I'll show you both versions. You can decide which you like and which applies to your own playing style. So the first chord that we are going to look at is this one right here. And you'll notice with these chord shapes, they are movable. So I'm going to be moving them around. I'll generally be on the fifth fret just to demonstrate each chord. So we have our middle ring and pinky on the fifth fret of the E, A, and D strings. We mute the G string with our pinky. And then we have our first finger barring the third fret of the B and E strings. And that gives us this chord. <laughs> Like I said, we can move it around now that we have this shape. As I mentioned, with a little distortion. So, really an awesome sustained, rich, organic sound that you can get with this chord. Uh, it's very similar, yet different, discreetly different than our next chord. So here's our next chord. So again, we have our first finger completely barring the fifth fret. And on the G string, we have our ring finger on the seventh fret and our pinky on the eighth fret of the B string. E string is barred on that fifth fret. Again, a movable chord shape. Let's see what this one sounds like with a little distortion. So here is the difference between the first and second chords. So you really want to emphasize these bottom three strings to make sure those are articulated in the chord so you can really hear that difference. Subtle, but cool. You can really attack it differently too. You don't always have to play all the strings of these chords. That's just the framework. You can choose to embellish certain aspects of the chord. So if I wanna make sure these uh, higher notes are ringing out to demonstrate the difference between the two chords we've gone through, then I can concentrate in that area of the string set. Really neat. Now, the final chord that I'm gonna show you today is much more simple as far as the construction, and it is a very useful chord as well. 
Let's take a look at it. So on our trusty fifth fret here, we have our barred fifth fret of the E and A strings. And then we're gonna put our ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string. And that's it, it's just like a big power chord. And you guessed it, we can move this shape anywhere we want to. So this has a really kind of ethereal extended sound than just a regular. As I've done with the previous chords, let's see what this sounds like with a little bit of dirtiness. And the way I really like to use this chord is almost like single notes because I really like the way the notes hit each other kind of one after the other. Let me demonstrate what I mean by that. So it is a really neat way to kind of get that raunchy, really full of attitude feeling uh, that Drop D is able to deliver. So these three chords are definitely not the only chords that are available in Drop D, but there are a few that stick out to me that I like to use in my own playing. So I'm gonna put on a little jam or jam a little bit using these chords and see what I come up with. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've also started teaching private Skype lessons and of course all my guitar courses are available for you. All that information is in the description of this video so check that out if you're interested and I'll see you next time.